Breaking news, my wonderful people, it's happening again. Oh yes, my people, it's happening again. As you and I can see right now, uh, the Nigerians are being admonished. That is advised and talked to. Say, guys, listen, oh, listen. Those of you, this is, um, you know, those of you who are promoting uh, Tinubu and um, Festus Kiyamu has told Nigerians with his own words that Tinubu will run Nigeria exactly the same way, you know, uh, Buhari is running it now. Should remember the current economic hardship. This is what Costly has just got to say. That's all he said. He said, I'm not saying A or B, or, and I'm not telling you to vote this person or don't vote this person. I'm only asking you that in all of it, okay, your heart and your mind should be at work. And you must consider and know that it is not only about you. Okay? Because he wants Nigerians, those of you who are promoting, you know, Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu, remember, remember the current economic hardship and how things are, the suffering people are going through. Just remember, okay? Don't forget. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Can this really be true? So my wonderful people, it is what it is. Let's get all the details. Promoters of Tinubu candidacy should remember current economic hardship under Buhari. As first as Kiyamu has told Nigerians that he will rule if elected as president exactly the same way as Buhari. The collusion of Southern East Southeast youth leaders has advised promoters of presidential candidates of the All Progressive Congress to remember the current economic hardship Nigerians are passing through under the watch of the incumbent president Muhammad Buhari and Buhari promoted and sold out. Remember how. Tinubu promoted Buhari and sold him to Nigerians. South, South East Youth says a statement jointly signed by the President General Honorable Loki Ibem and Publicity Secretary Comrade Oke argued that Tinubu's administration would not be different from Muhammad Buhari, who has severally boasted of bringing to power. It says I will do I will follow in the template of President Muhammad Buhari. I will continue in his work. We believe in his legacy. We will continue with it. The statement made available to Vanguard reads in part We advise groups and personalities, promoters of the presidential ambition of Senator Ahmed Balatinubu to retract their steps in the interest of Nigeria and Nigerians. On June the 3rd, 2022, Tinubu, while on a visit to Ogun State, openly boasted that he has made Muhammad Buhari president in 2015 after a severe faulted attempt by Buhari himself. But driven by his own personal political ambition, Tinubu persuaded Buhari to try again and then made him president in 2015 and brought the desire of the of the president to be. The implication of the statement is that hardship of Nigeria that Nigerians are facing today is a tip of the iceberg if Senator Bola Ahmed Tinubu gets into that position. So Tinubu owns Nigeria. A sincere apology for bringing a disaster to plague the nation. His presidential ambition has increased the fears of Nigerians suffering the masses, especially the youth population. The group lamented that under the watch of the man package and promoted by Tinubu, Nigeria economy was among the leading economy in Africa in 2015 and has now nosedive. Terrible things are already happening and we can't continue like this. So, Southeast youths are warning Nigerians of the current predicaments, saying we cannot continue like this. Those of you who are promoting Muhammad Buhari should remember. Promoting Tinubu should remember that the jail are one and the same people. Okay? 
Yeah, it was Tinubu who said it in Ogun State that he was the one who made Buhari president. Not my words, his words. He said when Buhari has tried and, you know, openly cried on national TV that he will not try again as Nigerians do not care about him and all that. He said he will, he was, you know, he was, he was not going to try again. Tinubu said he was the one who told Buhari he will become president, try again. And he made him president. So he said that he's surprised that the very people he made, now that he's interested in presidency, are not standing with him. Southeast youths are saying Nigerians who are promoting Tinubu should remember that this very person, these people, they are one and the same thing. And nobody, you know, will be excused when the hardship starts. And so everyone has got a call duty to ensure that, you know, they stand up for what is right. Everyone must rise up together. So, so they should remember that if they continue like this, uh, Nigerians will, will not forget the taste, the bitter taste in their mouth of the decision they are making. Well, again, a word they say is enough for the wise. Okay, if you are a wise person and somebody advises you or bring you into cognizance of some things that are going on, you will pay attention to it. You will not go there and pretend that no words has been said. You will make sure you put your heart, your mind to it, and you will ensure that at the end of the day, you make a wise decision of the information you have been previewed to. So these are some of the things that are happening and why every one of us okay, must stand up for what is right. Why every one of us must ensure that we, have, we are projecting and we are standing with the candidate we feel has what it takes to turn Nigeria and to bring the country to the right position. In fact, the days upon us are days where truth must, must continue to be dispensed if we want the best. So, I mean, it says Nigerians must remember, you know, these are South East youth reminding Nigerians of the decisions they are about to take. Because when the cry will start, the, 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 the Nigerians who you know have led the country in this direction will have no one to blame but themselves. But the truth of it is that we know what is good, we all know what is right, but we decide to take the turn we take. So when I mean whatever happens, we we'll live with the consequences of the decisions we have made. Remember that every one of us must rise up to the occasion, must stand up for what is right. None of us. Okay, must pretend that these things are not happening. You know, for instance, that this thing may not work. You know that it will not work, but yet you put all your energy.